Get the ball, get the ball. Good boy. Hey, boom, come here. That right there is what I'm hoping we're gonna see a lot of over the next few days because this vlog is just a quick update about what's happening here this weekend through all of next week. I'm heading to North Dakota taking my dog and we're gonna try to do some shed hunting training for him. Gonna be walking a bunch of ground in North Dakota, maybe into Montana, lots and lots of deer in these areas, kind of in small constricted regions around waterways and rivers. And I'm feeling like there's gonna be a chance to find a lot of bone. I had this podcast we recorded a couple weeks ago with Jeremy Moore from Dog Bone Hunter. And he was talking to me about my challenges that I've had, trying to train my dog Boone or how to find sheds. And you know, he does really good when I'm training him, but he's struggled in the field. But a big point that Jeremy pointed out to me was the fact that, you know, how many chances did he ever actually really have to find antlers? And the answer to that was not very many because I almost only ever take him shed hunting here in Michigan. And here in Michigan, in the last few years, while I've been trying to train him, I've only found a couple antlers. So it's not like he's been in a position to succeed a whole lot. So that's what I want to change with this trip. I want to take Boone to an area where he really does have a chance to find some antlers and to kind of connect these dots. Going from that training deal to actually in the field finding these antlers and you know hopefully that's going to be right, you know, giving us an opportunity for some positive reinforcement. So I'm very excited about this trip. We're going to be doing some scouting for future whitetail hunts. We're going to be doing some shed hunting. We're going to be doing some hiking and backpacking um, in the area around where Theodore Roosevelt ranches were out in the badlands of North Dakota absolutely beautiful country and really this area was kind of a, a lot of people call it the, the cradle of conservation because this is where Teddy Roosevelt really had some of these most impactful experiences that helped influence his thought process and his philosophy and his his enthusiasm around protecting wild places and wildlife that led to all the works that he did throughout his presidential administration protecting so many public lands national forests national parks doing so many different things that have allowed us now to enjoy what we do as hunters and anglers and hikers and campers and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to spend some time in this place and really reflect on some of those things. That's going to be great, but I uh, sure do hope we find some antlers. So I say all this because I'm going to be recording all sorts of stuff throughout this trip. It's going to be a week-long trip all of next week. And if I can get cell phone service, if I can get internet, I'm gonna to try to post videos maybe every other day, maybe daily if I can. Gonna do kind of a semi-live trip out there, hopefully find some antlers, hopefully learning about the area, and hopefully it's gonna be pretty interesting stuff. So keep tuned for that stuff, follow the YouTube channel, subscribe so you get updates when those new videos come out. And if for some reason I don't have good enough service, as soon as I get back, I'll be uploading a bunch of new videos. So it should be a lot of fun, follow along, and cross your fingers.